Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial with your instructional technology specialist, Leslie Johnson. So today we're going to look at creating a CAMI assignment in Google Classroom. So once I've clicked that particular box, it's going to start this Google Classroom CAMI assignment and it looks just like it does when we go from CAMI. So, it has selected the class that I'm in. If I wanted to select more classes, you're welcome to do that. You just click or unclick. You can choose if you want it published or as a draft, or if you want to give it to all students in your class or just a few select students. And it still has this feature restriction, so we can turn everything off. We can keep it all on. We can go through and say, you know what? They don't need to add a signature. They don't need to insert images. I don't want them erasing their work. We're not doing equations. So you just kind of go through and say, don't want this, don't want this. Uh, do want the comments and the text box, maybe not the dictionary. So just being very intentional with your selection of tools. We'll go ahead and click OK. Then you can give a title. You can give your instructions, you can change the point value, the due date, the time it's scheduled, you can add it to a specific topic if you want to do that. Then you can go to Google Class or Google Drive, excuse me, um, to choose the assignment, or you can just upload something. So from here, I'm going to select by double clicking. There we go. So the upcoming events for secondary is there, and you have that option to make a copy. Students share one copy, cannot edit, however you want to do that. Last time we included the Kami instructions, so this time I'm going to untick that box, but still leave a link to open with Kami. Then I can click that Assign button, and it will create this assignment right here in Google Classroom. And now it's done, so I'm going to go ahead and close this since I'm currently in Google Classroom, and I'm just going to refresh and I should see example under do this today as a teacher. So if I wanted to do any edits, I can do that from within Google Classroom. If I wanna see it from the student end, I just come over here to my test class and see in the classwork page, there we go, there's our example. So very similar, if I click on this view assignment, I want to do that open with Kami because this is just the PDF. I'm not going to be able to interact with it. So it opens, it's thinking about it, and it's going to show me all the features and then take away the ones that I deselected for this particular assignment. So students can still leave comments, they can still mark up, they can still do that text-to-speech, select all of that. It's the same process, they click that turn it in button when they're ready, and as the teacher, then you get to go ahead and check that out by viewing the assignment, clicking on that student work, and since I have that box ticked to grade with Kami, I'm going to be able to see all of the annotations. However, we didn't make any annotations this time, <laughs> but it's a very similar process to creating that Google Classroom assignment from the Kami app. If you have any other questions or video suggestions, please let me know. And thank you for watching. 